What range you got on him? 105 yards. That's two and a quarter mil dots. Okay. Any wind call? Nope, hold that on. So I got the 22 right back there. And I'm in the woods today. We're gonna go after a groundhog. Let's go check out his hole right up here. Oh yeah. Kind of see his trail coming out too. All right, I'm 37 yards away from the hole over there. Pretty easy shot for the 22. I got it sighted in at 50. Last night, I shot a quarter inch group with this at 50 yards. And that's because I have a better scope on here. This is a different scope. This is a Arkin 6 to 24. And it's first focal plane, which I kind of like now. I used, to, I used to not like first focal plane at all, but after using this thing a little bit, I think I might only be a first focal plane guy. It's just easier to take holdover shots. Holdover levels stay the same because the crosshair zoom with it. Not that you guys care that much about it. But. Okay, I also seen some squirrels here. I'll, I'll shoot a squirrel today. Main goal is a groundhog. We're gonna get more than one groundhog in this video. We're gonna get like, we have to, okay. My last groundhog video with the 22, what'd I get, two? Yeah, I got three groundhogs in that video. We have to beat it. We have to beat three groundhogs. That's the goal today. Well, it'll probably take more than one day. So my choice of ammo for today, these are gonna be like my new favorite ammo out of this gun. Oh shoot. These ones I did some testing in water and these things expanded like three times bigger than the size they were right now. Standard velocity is just, they stayed the same size and didn't even deform at all. Didn't even mushroom out anything. Bro, oh, there's a squirrel over there. There is. Oh, he's right behind that tree. Whoop. Stupid safety. Boom. Alrighty. I just smoked a squirrel at like 25 yards. I did take a lung shot on this one. I don't know why, but hit him right there. I don't, did it exit? I don't know if it exited because that hollow point expands so much and he was kind of quartering so it might have not it probably would have had to travel through like his whole body almost but first squirrel he's a big one he's a fatty I haven't shot a squirrel this fat in a whole year this thing's like two pounds all right well that probably just added another half hour to how long it's going to take that groundhog to come out but uh, at least we got a squirrel I'm guessing we'll probably shoot another squirrel before this groundhog comes out I will not be surprised guys this is a squirrel He's right over there, close to the groundhog hole. See if I can take him out. Got him. Took a headshot on that one. That groundhog had to have heard that shot. That was so loud when it hit it. The smack of the bullet hitting his head was like as loud as the actual gunshot. Right on these logs. The groundhog hole's just right there. That's the impact of the bullet right there. Horrible shot placement, but it killed him instantly because of the hollow point on there expanded so much it just destroyed his head. I just shot another squirrel at 25 yards. Took a heart and lung shot. Hit him right there in the shoulder. He was quartering, so it exited right there. Probably kind of out of the guts. Definitely went through the lungs, though. All right, guys, I moved out from the woods. I was getting ready to drive to a new groundhog spot, and I think I see one out in the field right now. Yeah, that's a groundhog right there. So here's the plan. I'm going to try to sneak over into that creek right there and rest my gun, shoot him prone. If I can get within 100, maybe 130 yards, I think should be a pretty easy shot. The wind's basically all blocked right here, so I mean, there'll still be a little bit of wind, but shouldn't be too bad. I made it to the creek. He's right out there. Gosh, if this doesn't work, this one is so stupid. Okay, he's eating food right now. Now's my chance. Oh, he just took his head up. Gotta wait for a little bit. I flagged this field, all the holes I found with uh, orange flags. Never even seen a hole down here over in this part of the field. So I'm surprised to see one there. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh, he just locked up again. There we go. Get the bipod set up. I just take a range on him. 105. 
105 yards. I should be able to make this shot. If the calculations are right, the holdover is right on my on the Streelock Pro app. Um, we should have it. It's telling me to hold over almost two and a half mil dots. This is gonna be the shot of the year for, for me if I make this. You don't even hear me. Still eating. Oh my goodness. This thing will not hear me. Oh, I can almost make that. No way. I just dropped that thing. No stinking way. His tail's going like this right now. Let's go get him. I cannot believe that. 105 yards. That's the new longest shot. Yeah, I don't think I've ever shot anything that far in my life. Oh yeah, there's this hole. Right there, just a single hole. Wow. Okay, let's get the gun down. No way. Where'd I hit him? That was exactly where I was aiming, right behind the ear. He was quartering kind of like this, so I had to put it kind of, drop it right down in his neck, go up through the brain. That was amazing. Big fatty too. He's a, he's not real big, but he's like, it's a short, wide groundhog. You can see there's another flag out there where another groundhog hole is. And before some of you guys go down in the comments start hating about, I'm just out here killing groundhogs for no reason. Now, these things are huge pests on our farm. They eat a ton of beans. I mean, their holes are out in the bean fields. Yeah, whenever I got a chance, I always shoot them or trap them. I've done catch and cooks on groundhogs. They turn out bad every time. So I just stopped cleaning them. I'm sure the buzzer, buzzers will probably find them. All right, there's one of my orange flags where a groundhog hole is. And then there's a groundhog right there. Okay, so here's the plan. And that groundhog hole is right there. There's a fence line that goes all the way around the, that field. I'm gonna drive over there, try to walk over there, and then just do something. Sneak up on him and shoot him. That's the plan. All right, I'm walking. Cows are going nuts behind me. So right past that little patch of weeds right there is the groundhog hole. It might be it might be like 60, maybe 70 yards at the most past that, which is an easy shot. So all I gotta do is get past that to those weeds. And if you don't see me, we got them easy. I'm gonna try to sneak out right over there and take them. It's gonna run away any second. Just over one and a half. Uh, beep. Oh no! Totally just missed that shot. It, he was at 90 yards, a little further than I thought he was going to be, but I think I had the wind right. I messed up the hold over though. So I moved a little bit closer to the hole. We might be like 65, maybe 70 yards away from it. I'm going to wait here till this groundhog comes out. He'll be coming out more today for sure. So we'll, we'll get him by the end of today. We got a turkey out there. Oh man, that turkey has got a beard that's hanging on the ground. During the spring turkey season this year, that's him. I was chasing that turkey all spring and I never got him. That's why you guys didn't see any turkey videos this year. The groundhog just came out. Got him. Oh, I hope that got on the GoPro. My GoPro died like a second after I shot. Like he's dead, but I hope I got him on camera. Got him. So that was a 70 yard shot. Not too far of a shot, but still decent shot for a 22. The shot went all the way through. I'm surprised these hollow points are going all the way through. Okay, it wasn't in that hole. Oh, there he is. Yeah, he is dead. <laughs> yeah, man. Oh, wow, he's kind of a small one. Definitely uh, born this year. Facing kind of like that to me. Got him right there exited right there you can see a tiny little mark i'll leave this one out in the field so the buzzards and coyotes will find them it's getting kind of late it's six o'clock out already and we're going to try one more spot here for the night you'll recognize this spot if you've seen my last groundhog hunting video but there's the hole right there there's the one up there where i shot the groundhog in that other video and the cows are just watching me hopefully they won't charge at me because that has happened before no oh my gosh i do not trust cows I might just shoot, shoot into the ground and spook him a little bit. Get out of here! 
Oh, that worked out great. Sweet. You know what? I'm getting out of here. I don't know. These things keep coming closer. I don't know if there's a bowl in there or not. I don't think so. It's like if I walk towards them, they just stay still. Turn my back on them. They'll start charging me. Hey, get out of here. I'm not turning my back on you. Yep, I am. <laughs> oh my gosh. Get that heck out of here. Safety. All right, I just pulled into this field. There's a groundhog by the orange flag to the left of it, just sitting there watching me. So here's what I'm gonna do. So I might go in the woods a little bit and sneak up there. He'll probably see me. If he does see me, I'm just gonna wait there for him to come back out. God, I'm getting pretty close to him. I'm probably 100, just over 100 yards away. If I can get within 80, maybe 90 yards, I'll take the shot. 70 to 80 yards would be preferred, but okay, I might just take it right now. Okay, he's at 102 yards. Let's see, our holdover is two and a quarter mil dots. Basically the same as that 105 yard shot. Let's see if we can do it again. Two and a quarter. Okay, here we go. Oh my. Oh my. Oh man! Whoa! Wow! 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 I'm speechless. 102 yards. I think I just smacked him right in the head. Let's go run over there and check. Ha! <laughs> yes! Oh my goodness! 102 yards. I hit him right there in the mouth. I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh, I feel the bullet right here. It's stuck in his skin. Never going back to solid points for 22s. If that was a solid point, we would not have him right now. I can guarantee that. I can't believe the power of these little 22s to put groundhog sized animals down with a, that kind of shot placement. He must have been quartering or something or it ricocheted off a bone and the bullet traveled up and kind of into his neck where I, where I felt it. If it didn't do that, we would not have him. We got lucky on this one. Yeah, I don't think I aimed for wind. I think that's why, I mean, there's maybe two mile an hour of wind out here at the most. That's still enough to push a 22 that far at 100 yards. Okay, I guess to the next groundhog. Okay, it's a few days later. I think I just spotted another groundhog. Okay, so the groundhog I just saw was right on that hill right there. So I'm about 60 yards away. I'm just gonna lay prone right beside these beans right here. Hopefully I'll be enough cover so he won't see me enough to get spooked and run back in his hole. Yeah, hopefully I'll come back out to feed again. He's walking out right now. He's gotta be like 85 yards. There's beans in front of him. So it's kind of messing with the range. The range was between 85 and 90 yards. So I'm guessing he's at 90. That's a holdover of a mil and a half, mil and a half hold out. No, mil and a half mil dot. All right, let's try to take this guy out at 90. There's a little bit of wind out here. Shouldn't be too much though. Wait for his head to go back up. Well, there we go, headshot again. It's too easy with this gun. So accurate. Okay, let's go get this thing. What is that, number four for the video? Four groundhogs, I think, so far. Now there's a lot of wind out today, probably like a 10 or 15 mile an hour wind, but there's this big bank right here, and there's a pond right above that, and that's blocking most of the wind, so I only held maybe like two inches of wind, maybe two and a half inches. Should have drifted right down into his ear. I called the ear shot, look at that. Perfectly in the ear, and it also exited out his other ear. Man, that was like a perfect brain shot. So that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure to subscribe for more scope cam hunting.